IELTS, Writing General Lesson 1. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. You are a current student of Loren Brusque University, studying business administration. You want to apply for the post of quality assurance manager you have recently seen on the university's notice board. Write a letter to Mr. Walker, and give your reason for writing. Tell about your education. Describe your work experience and explain why you would be suitable for the job. Write at least 150 words. How to answer this task. Introduce yourself and state your reason for writing. Start letter in a formal style. It's a job application letter, and dedicate the first paragraph to the letter opening. Write body paragraphs. Write about your education and work experience in separate paragraphs. Use some details if you need and use linking structures. Write a polite letter closing. Thank your future employer for his consideration and mention you are ready for the interview. Model answer. Dear Mr. Walker. I am writing to apply for the post of quality assurance manager, which I saw advertised on the internet. The advert immediately appealed to me as I believe that my qualifications, personal qualities and work experience make me a perfect candidate for this job. Currently I am studying business administration at the Loren Brusque University. Graduating in 2018. What I am studying in my degree is very relevant to the post you are offering. Furthermore, I am constantly improving my management skills by taking various additional courses. During my studies I have held the post of adjutant to the executive at Marissimo Asagero and this improved my leadership skills, communication competences and team working skills. Whilst leading and supervising subordinates, I was in fact acting as the quality assurance manager. Although I am fairly busy I can be available for an interview at any time. You can contact me most easily by the mobile phone number given above or by email. Joan Watts 89 at jmail.com. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to meeting at your earliest convenience. Yours sincerely, John Watts. IELTS Writing Task 2 Giving Opinion. In this guide, you'll learn how to give your opinion. So as to answer IELTS Writing Task 2 questions. This type of question is very similar to agree slash disagree questions. The question states two opposite views and asks you to give your opinion. In this lesson you will see IELTS writing task 2 sample question plus model answer and learn how to choose your opinion. How to brainstorm valid arguments. How to write a high quality essay that clearly states your opinion. IELTS giving opinion question. Let's look at an example of an IELTS writing task 2 question. That asks you to give your opinion, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Some people believe that violence on television and in computer games has a damaging effect on the society. Others deny that these factors have any significant influence on people's behavior. What is your opinion? Write at least 250 words. Choose your opinion and generate arguments. First of all, you need to take sides and choose from the two opinions offered. For the task above, you need to choose from these opinions, violence in media has a damaging effect on society. Violence in media doesn't have a damaging effect on the society. Then, you have to think of your arguments for the chosen opinion. Let's brainstorm some supporting points for each of the given opinions. Violence in media has a damaging effect on society. People see so much violence they see it as normal. Violent video games teach people that aggressiveness is normal in everyday life. You have an example of the connection between violence in the media and social violence. Violence in media doesn't have a damaging effect on society. People become immune to violence on the television and disassociate it from the real thing. Video games and television can reduce social violence by providing a safe outlet for aggressiveness if it were true the streets would be running with blood. 
For our essay, we'll choose the second opinion. How to answer this task? Introduction. Paraphrase the statement, sentence 1, and give your own opinion, sentence 2. These days, the amount of violence in the media is great and it is still growing. While some people argue that this trend will undoubtedly lead human beings to be exposed to actual violence, others claim that it has no real effect on the actions of people in society. I believe the latter, that is that in most cases media violence doesn't affect people's behavior. Body paragraphs. Describe each argument to support your opinion in a separate paragraph. Your essay should have two to three body paragraphs. Use linking structures, vocabulary to write essays. Firstly, I think that people act for deeper motives that depend of physical states and environmental factors, regardless what they see on the television. That is to say, if someone becomes violent it is not due to watching TV or playing computer games, but due to that person's character and education or some real event. Although it is generally considered that violence in the media accustoms viewers to it, I do not subscribe to this view. I think reasonable and intelligent people act humanely irrespective of what they see or hear on the television. Moreover, according to some video games and television are a way to channel social aggression by providing a safe outlet for it. In other words, wannabe killers and bullies can fight in virtual reality, instead of dragging innocent parties into their sick world. This is perhaps a great safety valve and that it could reduce violence overall. Personally I have never encountered any manifestations of antisocial behavior resulting from a social media experience. Conclusion in the conclusion paragraph briefly summarize what you have written and restate your opinion, taking everything into consideration. I would say that there was no real evidence that violence in contemporary media has had a substantial influence on people's violent tendencies. Television and computers are not the main factors that cause people to snap or to premeditate vicious acts. Model answer. These days, the amount of violence in the media is great and it is still growing. While some people argue that this trend will undoubtedly lead humans being exposed to actual violence, others claim that it has no real effect on the actions of people in society. I believe the latter, that is that in most cases, media violence doesn't affect people's behavior. Firstly, I think that people act for deeper motives that depend of physical states and environmental factors regardless what they see on the television. That is to say, if someone becomes violent it is not due to watching TV or playing computer games, but due to that person's character and education or some real event. Although it is generally considered that violence in the media accustoms viewers to it, I do no subscribe to this view. I think reasonable and intelligent people act humanely irrespective of what they see or hear on the television. Moreover, according to some video games and television are a way to channel social aggression by providing a safe outlet for it. In other words, wannabe killers and bullies can fight in virtual reality instead of dragging innocent parties, this is perhaps a great safety valve. And that it could reduce violence overall. Personally I have never encountered any manifestations of antisocial behavior, resulting from a social media experience, taking everything into consideration. I would say that there was no real evidence that violence in contemporary media has had a substantial influence on people's violent tendencies, television and computers are not the main factors that cause people to snap or to premeditate vicious acts. Giving examples. For example, for instance, a good illustration of this is Evidence for this is provided by, we can see this when Example, a lot of wild animals are endangered. Evidence for this is proved by decreasing number of species. Concluding to summarize, in conclusion, overall. On balance, taking everything into consideration, example, overall, no parents should neglect their children.